Hello, and welcome to the TI Precision Labs video on common mode rejection. This video will discuss how changing the common mode voltage on op-amps introduces a common mode rejection error. We will consider both AC and DC common mode rejection. Finally, we will consider how changing the input voltage can also introduce open loop gain errors and methods for separating the common mode and open loop gain errors. Errors from common mode rejection, power supply rejection, open loop gain, and many other types of errors can be modeled as input offset voltage connected to the non-inverting input of the op-amp. This method of reflecting the error signal to the input simplifies the error analysis as error sources can be added to find the total error. In practice, the error sources are often added as the square root sum of the squares because the error sources are uncorrelated and can be represented with Gaussian distributions. This slide emphasizes how common mode rejection ratio, CMRR, and AOL errors are often combined in many common configurations. In this example, the input voltage on a simple buffer is shifted from 0 to 10 volts. Therefore, the common mode voltage as well as the output voltage shifts from 0 to 10 volts. The shift in output voltage introduces an error reflected to the input from the open loop gain or AOL. For this example, dividing the output voltage change of 10 volts by the open loop gain yields an offset voltage shift of 1.6 microvolts. Performing a similar calculation for CMRR yields 2 microvolts of offset shift. Directly adding the two errors yields 3.6 microvolts of total error. Notice that the simulated and calculated results match well. A specialized circuit is needed to separate the effects of CMRR and AOL from each other. The difference amplifier, commonly called a diff amp, is one approach to isolating the effects of CMRR. Before looking at how this circuit is used to measure CMRR, let's look at how the diff amp works. The typical diff amp configuration shown on the left takes the differential input voltage and multiplies it by a gain. Assuming RF equals R2 and RN equals R1, the gain is calculated by dividing RF by RN. In the example shown on the left, the gain is 1 volt per volt, and the output is the differential input voltage multiplied by the gain. In the second diagram, the differential inputs are shorted together, such that the differential input voltage is always 0 volts. The input source, Vn, does not generate any differential input voltage, so the ideal output is 0 volts. As the input signal changes, so does the common mode voltage on the op-amp. In this example, the common mode voltage is equal to the input source divided by 2. Using this circuit, the common mode rejection can be calculated as the change in offset divided by the change in common mode voltage. Note that the effects of AOL are eliminated because the differential input and output are held constant at 0 volts. This slide shows a simulation of the DC CMRR test circuit. The input signal ranges from 0 to 10 volts, which translates to a 0 to 5 volt common mode signal. The common mode rejection is calculated as the change in offset over the change in common mode. For this example, CMRR is 0.2 microvolts per volt, or 134 dB. Again, note that the effects of AOL are eliminated because the output is kept nearly constant at 0 volts. AC common mode rejection is simulated using the same test circuit that was used for DC CMRR. To get the best results, make sure that the test conditions such as load resistance are observed. Also, a post-processor tool will be needed to generate the curve using the standard CMRR equations. This slide shows the Tina Spice post-processor tool. This tool can be used with any analysis that generates curves such as transient, DC sweep, or AC analysis. In this case, we use the post-processor to perform math on the AC transfer characteristic to generate the AC CMRR curve. To use this tool, first select the appropriate curve from the available curves list. Next, use the line editor to apply the math function. Finally, enter the function name, CMRR in this case, and press Create. Although the specific procedure here is for Tina Spice, other simulators will have a similar tool. Graphing the input offset voltage versus common mode voltage for an op-amp will generally produce a linear function as shown in this graph. Of course, there are some exceptions, and we will look at one soon. Notice that the slope of the straight line is equal to the common mode rejection of the device. The slope of this line can either be positive or negative, indicating that the common mode rejection can cause the input offset voltage to shift in either direction. 
Note, however, that the absolute value is applied to the CMRR function so that CMRR is always positive regardless of the direction of the input offset voltage change. Common mode rejection relates to how well the early voltage of the input transistors match. It's possible for the VOS versus common mode voltage to have a positive or negative slope. In fact, if you were to look at the distribution of the common mode rejection ratio, you would get a Gaussian distribution. The typical value of the CMRR specification is set to the mean plus one standard deviation. In the example shown, the mean CMRR is zero and one standard deviation is 10 microvolts per volt, so the typical CMRR is 10 microvolts per volt or 100 dB. When the datasheet table provides a minimum value for CMRR, this means that CMRR is tested and any device with a CMRR worse than the minimum level is considered a failure and is discarded. So, for this example amplifier, any device with a CMRR less than 87 dB is discarded. Of course, the minimum value of CMRR also corresponds to the tails of the distribution, which in this case are at plus minus 40 microvolts per volt, or 87 dB. Notice that the sign of the CMRR in volts per volt can either be positive or negative, but that the sign of the decibels will always be positive. Rail-to-rail -rail amplifiers use two different internal input stages to achieve input voltage range from the negative supply to the positive supply. The problem with most rail-to-rail -rail amplifiers is that they will have a jump in the input offset voltage when the common mode voltage reaches the point where we transition between the two input stages. This generates a type of distortion called input crossover distortion. Since common mode rejection is determined by looking at the change in offset voltage over common mode voltage, this jump in offset will also affect CMRR. For this reason, CMRR specifications are often separated into different common mode voltage ranges to show the performance of each region. Here, you can see the CMRR specification is broken into three regions corresponding to the three separate regions of operation. In the green region, the PMOS input pair is operating, and the common mode rejection in that region is typically 140 dB. The blue region is where the device transitions from the PMOS input pair to the NMOS input pair. In this region, the CMRR is poor and unpredictable, so the datasheet directs you towards characteristic curves similar to the VOS versus VCM plot given here. In the red region, the NMOS input pair is operating, and the common mode rejection in that region is typically 120 dB. An easy way to avoid common mode voltage errors is to use the inverting op amp topology instead of the non-inverting topology. In the non-inverting configuration, the op amp common mode voltage varies with the input voltage, introducing common mode errors. In the inverting configuration, the common mode voltage of the op amp is held at the constant DC voltage applied to the non-inverting input of the op amp. Therefore, with a constant common mode voltage, the inverting topology avoids common mode errors as the input voltage changes. This video discussed common mode rejection and how changing the common mode voltage on op amps introduces a common mode error. We discussed how to isolate common mode errors from open loop gain errors and how to properly simulate common mode rejection ratio. Thank you for your time. Please try the quiz to check your understanding of this video's content.